The House Judiciary Committee is issuing a subpoena for that anti-Trump agent Peter Strzok in order to compel his testimony. All of this comes as we get ready for another hearing with Justice Department's IG Michael Horowitz. That will be happening less than one hour from now. Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. You will be uh, asking questions at that hearing this morning. I want to ask about that. But first, I want to get a little information on Peter Strzok because I think there's some confusion here. Yesterday Yesterday, uh, he, by way of his lawyer, said that he is willing and voluntarily offering to testify and answer questions before Congress. But then we found out that Goodlatte, the chairman of the committee, is planning to subpoena him. So why subpoena him if he's volunteering, uh, volunteering his testimony? Well, because if you volunteer your testimony, you can always back out. We want to subpoena, make sure that he gets there, um, and we have an opportunity to go forward. Um, also, um, if he's coming in voluntarily, there's an opportunity to uh, be even more manipulative than, than otherwise. We want to get him in there. We want him before the committee. We want him to answer the questions about his bias, his roles in this uh, affair, uh, this investigation, and uh, even on the Mueller team, and uh, how he ended up in the Human Resources Department after uh, violating FBI rules. Do we know that's where he was? It, that was asked uh, about at the hearing yesterday, and the FBI Director C Christopher Wray said he really couldn't comment on what his current role is at the FBI. Do you know that to be the case? He's in HR? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Director Wray uh, answered that question for me in the Judiciary hearing when Christopher Wray was, uh, Director Wray was at the Judiciary Committee before in the House. Mm. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people still boggled by that, the fact that he's em yeah. employed and still working at the FBI. Will we see him publicly? Will it be a public hearing? It should be, if it's, especially if it's subpoenaed. He should be uh, in a public hearing, and, and the whole world should be able to see it. We think that, I, I personally think that's important. Under oath? Yeah. Under oath. Under oath. All right, and, and what specifically would you want to, to ask of him? What would be the most important thing to hear from Peter Strzok after the American people have heard for so long and read those text messages yeah. and, quite frankly, know of the blatant anti-Trump bias that he exchanged with that other lawyer, Lisa Page, with whom he had a romantic relationship? Well, we're going to continue to press on bias. I mean, the, the very notion that you can have this personal animus against Donald Trump and then protest that you're somehow uh, a fair arbiter of what's going on and and also his role in the investigation I mean now now they're claiming that he didn't really have any decision-making authority and yet he's he's basically the liaison between the analysts and the and the powers that be he's advising everybody on both sides of that and particularly this idea that the statute says gross negligence and and somehow we're going to change that to intent and thus we're going to say Hillary Clinton had no intent um, it's basically the stupid defense. And so I want to find out what his role was in uh, sending the, uh, the parties that way who were investigating and came away saying she's all clean. Do you have any theories on why he seemed to be so willing to testify and came out and said, I'll volunteer to do so? Um, I, 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 can only, I can only think that it's uh, what happens is to the remorseless sometimes they want to say, hey, look, I, I feel I did nothing wrong. And they can't see the, the quantity and the quality of their conduct. And so they just want to tell the whole world mm. that they're still innocent. All right. The hearing today before uh, the IAG Horowitz, uh, what are your expectations here as he sits back down in the hot seat ahead of this House committee? He's going to be uh, asked a lot about some of the things about bias. How can he say that it was antiseptic and basically there was no real decision-making bias here? Yet we go through it and we find out, uh, all kinds of people whose names are masked, which I'm going to ask him about unmasking these people again, who are saying, yeah, nothing's going to happen here. There's not going to be a conviction. Uh, whatever we find, there's not going to be a conviction. James Comey saying we're not going to, we're not going to prosecute uh, well before all of the investigation is completed. Uh, and he's going to have to explain to us that because he, he picked, in, in my opinion, he, he, he chose diff different items and isolated them and said, well, there's no bias here. But when you take it all together, it looks like it's really biased. So we're going to focus on bias, unmasking yeah. of names, intention versus gross negligence, uh, the whole thing again. A busy morning. We look forward to that hearing yeah. a bit later on. And I know you and the seven other Republicans, you want those names unmasked, those other anti-Trump agents working at the FBI. Congressman, thanks for your time this morning. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Sandra.